Hello, Brian here. And in this today's video, we're going to look at um, three points. And uh, we're going to, the first, the first issue we're going to be looking at is why does money come on hold on PayPal sometimes, you know? Uh, this is my account. Sometimes when someone sends me their money, it doesn't come here as PayPal balance, but usually it comes below here showing it's on hold. Okay. Uh, some people don't understand why actually money sometimes come on paper hold. Because if it's on hold, you can't use it actually. It's like you have a check, but it's postponed. Okay. So uh, we're going to look at why paper payments come on hold sometimes. Uh, the second point is how get money off the hold. You know, it's like, Hey, it has come here, it's on hold. Then what about it? You know, if money comes on hold, how do you get the money? Uh, people don't understand it. Like uh, paper has uh, terms and conditions. Sometimes money actually may be on hold for even up to 21 days. You can imagine that is almost a month. So we're going to see like, instead of just waiting for money to be off the hold, what do you do? Okay. Then uh, the third point will be, um, to avoid uh, paper holds, and that will be the end of our video. How to avoid paper holds is kind of a technique which I've developed because sometimes I need that money to use it urgently for some things. I don't need to wait for it to be in a hold. Sometimes, like it's a payment, I really need to uh, use it as up, you know. So I can't wait for maybe 24 hours or 48 or one week. I just want to use it. So what do I do? And we are going to discuss in this video so that you, uh, and actually you have to know this before the person sends you the money so that the money doesn't come on hold, okay? So let's dive in. So first of all, paper has terms and conditions, okay? If I search paper terms and conditions, uh, you realize like uh, PayPal has um, PayPal has uh, something which is called 180 days. Like your money can be in hold for 180 days. Um, sorry, your, uh, PayPal has a policy of uh, protecting the payer um, to request for a refund for 180 days, that is six months, okay? So there's a scenario like uh, I've paid you money and um, you have not delivered. Me, the payer, I can request a refund from PayPal and PayPal has terms conditions to repay this person. It has a, a guarantee to pay the payer uh, the refund. So if, you are new on PayPal and PayPal doesn't trust you. Probably sometime this money is coming, it's going to be on hold because it has to know that it has to first get trust in you so that it can avail you money directly. So sometimes it's because your account is new, okay? And these guys don't want to risk. So they usually put your money on hold so that in case the payer has an issue, opens a dispute, to get the money back, these guys can easily um, refund the money back to the payer. So that's why sometimes the money come hold. It's like PayPal doesn't trust you. You know, if I paid you five hundred dollars and you disappeared, and I ask PayPal to refund me, it means PayPal is going to make a loss. So instead of making a loss, PayPal usually kind of puts the money on hold just to make sure like the payer is satisfied with the, the service or whatever is paying, okay? So sometimes your, your account is not like messed up, just that you are new on PayPal. So that's when the money comes on hold. If you look in their terms and conditions, we're not going to read the whole thing, but um, if you read in, uh, in their in their, in their terms and conditions, under this section, actions you may take if you engage in any restricted activities. Point number three, you see like hold a paper, hold a balance in your paper account if reasonably needed to protect against risk of rehabilitation PayPal. Okay. 
or a third party, or if you have the old Rawa, blah, 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 the hold may remain in place longer than 180 days. If you look into, um, I don't have time to read all of that stuff, but if you read into their terms and conditions, you realize the hold can take up to like 21 days. Yep, 21 days. If you hold uh, funds in your paper in multiple, uh, in multiple uh, currencies, the uh, blah, 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 paper may, may set off negative balance by, you know, this, uh, this, this we can ignore it. But these guys have uh, what they call, um, what they call a 21 day hold. Your money can be in a hold for 21 days. That is really, but you know, you imagine like someone paying you money and you have to wait for 21 days. So if usually a new person on PayPal, you may have suffer this paper was just because you are new. Secondly, because they are third party uh, factors, like maybe this, uh, you, the sender send you money using a VPN. VPN is kind of, uh, again, it's their terms and condition. You don't have to hide. So they can, take it as if it's suspicious and your money lands on hold. So sometimes it's because, it's because of how the money was sent. That's why the money is on hold, okay? Another case is like how you log in, you, the person is logging. Like if today you log in from this computer, next time you log in for another computer, it kind of uh, raises a red flag to PayPal and, uh, you know, these guys are kind of trying to protect also your money. So they may think like someone is trying to access your account. So they may put the money on hold just for security purposes. Okay. Another thing, another reason is like the internal reasons. There are a lot of reasons like the, your money may come on hold. Sometimes you haven't uh, built up enough uh, record with PayPal, like you, you haven't transacted enough, you know. So for example, if I've never received $1,000 in my account and then you send $2,000 because it's the first time to receive all that money, um, this money may come on hold because I've never got to hold this money, you know? But if I've been receiving like $500, $600, then you send me like $50, most cases this money may drop uh, immediately because I have a, a record of having more money than that. So. That's one of the reasons why money usually comes on hold. Uh, don't freak out, but it really happens, if, especially if your account is new. Or if you have spent some time without using your PayPal, like it has been active, then eventually you're not being is, using it for like three months, four months. Then someone sent there the money. The money may come still on PayPal hold because you have not been active, okay? So those are one of the reasons, although there are others, but those are one of the main reasons. So how do you get the money off the PayPal hold? Like someone has sent you the money and is on hold. What do you do? What I usually tell people, like if it's on 24 hours, if money comes on 24 hours, there's nothing you can do. You just have to wait for 24 hours, okay? You just have to wait for 24 hours. That is, for 24 hours, there is no shortcut. If it says 24 hours, you just have to wait for 24 hours. But there are some holes which come and people like this, like uh, maybe uh, it's on hold for uh, unspecified number of days or like the material, like we are trying to look into this um, so that uh, we make sure like, uh, you know, there's no problem. There are some holes which come without no specified days or there are even some holes which come with specified days but they go beyond even the specified days i've seen a scenario where a payment comes with a three days hold then it takes like seven days eight days without that money being released so how do you go about that the the solution is kind of easier is it all you have to do is if someone sends you money like let me say it's i've sent the money uh, me, Brian, I've sent you the money and it has taken more than 48 hours. Kindly, please note, the money must have taken more than 48 hours to do this, okay? So 
let me say uh, a guy is from whatever he is, maybe he's from Australia, he has sent you the money, like maybe let me say uh, $300. The money has come in your account, but it's on hold. You have waited for like 24 hours. You have waited for 48 hours. The money is still there. Now it's three days, four days, maybe five days, and you're there stuck. You can't use the money. All you have to do is ask the sender to click on confirm receipt link. How is it done? You just tell a sender, the person who sent you the money to go on that transaction. Let me say, um, let me say, uh, these are one of the transactions. Let me see, uh, I really send the money. I'm usually more receiving the money. So, <laughs> so let me just say an example of a payment like, um, like this. Okay. Let me just say payment like this. All right. So, um, so you just tell a sender to go on a transaction, uh, like transaction, like uh, the payment that he sent you, like uh, what I've done. He clicks on it, then he looks for a link which says confirm receipt. That is it. It's usually a small link. Sometimes it's a button. Sometimes it's just a link as you see this. Okay, sometimes it's just a link like click here to click here to confirm receipt or confirm reception. So when the sender clicks on it, PayPal will bring another option like, are you satisfied with blah, 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 whatever it is, then it clicks okay. And the money you the receiver will reflect in your available balance within actually minutes. Actually, it's released right away in most cases. The latest is just a few hours. That is what you can do if a money comes on hold, okay? But that button usually comes after 48 hours. After 48 hours, the, the sender can't see a link of confirm receipt or confirm reception if it has not made 48 hours. It's something which is made by PayPal. I don't know why they usually do like 48 hours, but that link comes after 48 hours. All you have to do is you go to that link all you have to do is tell a sender to go to that link, to that transaction. It clicks on transaction and those transactions are usually under activity, okay? Activity, then all transactions, all transactions come. Then the payer, all, has, all he has to do is look for an option to click on confirm receipt. At that time, it's like confirm reception, you know, something like that. So then you will receive the money. Now, what if the payer doesn't have that option of confirm receipt? And it has been like seven days or six days. There, my friend, all you have to do is to wait for 21 days. It really sucks, but you have to wait for this payment for 21 days. The maximum is like 21 days. Or if you don't have to wait, you may have to refund the money then let the sender send it again. Why do I have to, why, why, why am I saying you refund the money? If you don't want to wait for 21 days, if, uh, if, the, if the payer doesn't see the confirm link for to confirm the, the receipt and you don't want to wait, what you can do is you can, you can refund the money first, then the payer can send the money again why does this work? Because when I send you $50 and it comes on hold, even if it's on hold, but it shows that I've built a record of receiving $50. So if I refer, if I refund $50, then the payer resends the $50. It means the next time it may reflect on a verbal balance because it shows I've built a record. I've ever received $50. That is a trick. Okay, but most cases, if someone sends you like 50, then you refund, you can tell them to send 49 point, maybe five to be lesser than amount. Because if you have a record of having received like $50, then the sender again sends you like $49. It means this money may usually, most cases, go on PayPal available balance because this is 49 is lesser than 
Okay, so sometimes it seems like exactly $50, sometimes it still can come on hold because of the same amount. So sometimes I tell a person to send less than a dollar. That's kind of a trick which I usually do. But if you don't really want to send the money, you can just have to wait for maximum 21 days, okay? Then you're like, okay, how do I avoid? How do I avoid PayPal holds in the first place? All right, it would be great to know how you can avoid actually getting PayPal holds, all right? So the trick which I do is usually in PayPal, you know, what people don't understand when, when I'm sending you money, you know, PayPal, on PayPal usually we send to uh, an email address, you know, someone comes on his PayPal and clicks on uh, send payments, then puts your email in, sends to you, okay? Now, or you, the, the person wants to receive the payment, you can generate an invoice, okay? If you have a business account, you can create an invoice. Uh, also that one, you can be paid like that. But another way to get the money fast is when you create a donate link. Yep, you can create a donate link. Why? Because donations, most cases are not refundable. PayPal has no, um, if someone pays your money using a donate link, most cases, because that money is seen as donations, PayPal doesn't have to worry about you running them, you running away with the money because when someone donate in PayPal, usually like it shows you don't have, a, the donor doesn't have a, a right to request for a refund, most cases. Anyway, this one depends on the countries, but most cases, payments done via a donate link uh, they have no refund. A police like uh, the, the donor can't claim for a refund. So it means paper usually clears this money fast in your paper balance because there's nothing they're afraid of. They, they, are, they are not afraid of you running with the money and them repaying the, the donor when they request a refund. So these guys are comfortable. Like if some someone has paid the money via the donate link, most cases just donating is not buying anything. Is not um, is not like it's just give away money. So it means if I give away money, um, people doesn't expect any dispute, doesn't expect any refund. You know, it doesn't expect you the payer to re request a refund. So they have no issue to worry about losing when the payer requests a refund. So even if my account is a business account, it doesn't mean like I can't receive a payment because I may be doing business, but once in a while I can get to donate. Okay, that is fine. So what I do, if I don't want money to come on my PayPal, if I don't want to risk to have money on my PayPal, um PayPal hold, I usually tell a person to send me the money via my donate link. I usually send it a donate link, okay? If it's a friend, but in most cases, if it's business, maybe someone may, be, may freak out to use it, a donate link because it feels like it's donating to you money, it's giving you money for free. Remember, when someone donates you money, it can request um, a refund. So uh, it may freak out some people, but if someone who you know, you can just tell him like, hey, um, uh, even if you're paying me, but uh, do you mind if you send the money via this this link, this my donate link, okay? So if I do, so how do you generate a, um, a donate link? You just go to your paypal.com slash donate slash buttons, okay? So when you go there, you can easily create a but you can easily create a link for donation. Money sent for donation usually clears right away. It's kind of like magic. People don't understand, don't get, you know? So I already have a donate link, which I'm using. 
I usually use it a lot for friends who are giving me some money, someone is giving me the money. Even if it's paying for something, I usually tell them like, your money, I don't want it to come on hold. Can you kindly pay me using uh, um, my donate link? And some people are fine with it, okay? How does the donate link look? It looks like this. Let me kind of click on preview. It looks like this, okay? Someone just puts in like, hey, um, Spend like hundred dollar in text and then you just say donate. You can even donate with a debit card. It's kind of cool. So when money is sent via the net link, in my account it will really reflect right away. That is kind of a cool thing which I usually do. If, even if your account is a is a business account, it's fine. You can still create a donate link. Okay, but if it's personal, personal accounts, I don't think you can create a donate link. Uh, so you may have to upgrade your account, your business account. All right. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the in the in the comment section. And I really appreciate if you give me a subscription to keep me going. Thank you and have a nice day.